Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to export from After Effects. If you're not familiar with Motion Array, we're all about helping you, the video creator, with templates, footage, plugins, audio, tutorials, and more. In fact, we've got tons of free After Effects templates ready to download. I've added a link in the description below, so check it out. Alright, let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is add a composition to the render queue. Here I have a composition that I'm ready to render. So I'll go up to Composition, Add to Render Queue. You can also do this with Control Command M on the keyboard. In the Render Queue, you have a handful of options to go through. The first is Render Settings. If you click the blue type next to it, you'll get the Render Settings window. In here, you have access to a lot of options. To be perfectly honest, I don't mess with these very often because it defaults to the best settings. When I do use render settings, it's typically to drop my resolution from full to half so that I'll render half size. Since I don't want to do that this time, I'm just going to hit cancel. Next, we'll go into output module. This is where we can change file types and all that good stuff. By default, it's set to lossless, which is a quick time movie with an animation codec. If you want to do something other than a QuickTime, you can click on the Format dropdown and choose from this list. There are several options for different types of image sequences and even an MP3 setting. We're going to stick with QuickTime though. If you want to change the codec from animation, all you need to do is click on the Format options. This brings up another window with a dropdown list of different codecs. For final exports, I typically stick with ProRes 422, ProRes 4444, or animation. So I'm going to stick with animation for now. So let's say that you want transparency in your video. So in the case of this example, if I turn on my transparency grid, you'll see that there's actually nothing behind my animation. In my exported video, I want to make sure that this transparency is there. If I go back to my output module, in the video output section under the channels dropdown, I can go to RGB plus alpha. This will ensure that if there's transparency in the video, it'll be rendered that way in the export. This option is only available when the format or codec supports it. So if exporting at QuickTime, good codecs are animation and ProRes 4444. If you're exporting an image sequence, PNG sequences are a good option. The last thing we'll go over in the output module is audio. At the very bottom of the window, there's a dropdown for audio. You can turn it on, auto, or off. When auto is selected, After Effects will only render audio if there are audio layers in the composition. I don't have any audio in this, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just hit OK. Back in the render queue, there's one more thing to go over, and that's Output 2. If I click on the blue type, it brings up a Finder window. And in this Finder window, I can just navigate to where I want to save my video. Once you're done with that, you can hit Render and let After Effects do the rest. While rendering, you can speed things up a little bit by having caps lock on. This prevents the composition window from refreshing as the render progresses. For this example, it was so fast I didn't even have time to hit caps lock. So let's say you want to export with the H.264 codec, or you want to make a GIF. After Effects can't do this natively, so we have to send our composition to Adobe Media Encoder. You can do this by click... You can do this by clicking on the Q&AME button in the render queue or going to Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. This launches Media Encoder and will load the composition into the queue. If you click the first drop-down menu, you'll see all the formats available to you. Some of the useful ones that aren't available in After Effects are Animated GIF, H.264, and Waveform Audio. For now, I'm going to stick with H.264. The second drop-down will give you a list of presets based on the format you've chosen. If you click on the blue type, you'll get your export settings. Here you can change the format, preset, the output name and destination, and fine-tune your settings. If you're new to the world of After Effects and Media Encoder, it can be pretty overwhelming with all these settings. Never fear. Here are some settings that we like to use for exporting to YouTube and Vimeo. So we stick to the H.264 format, and we export video and audio, 
and under our video settings, we match the source, and under the bitrate settings, we change it to VBR 2-pass, and we set our target bitrate and maximum bitrate to 25. Lastly, we check the Use Maximum Render Quality box. Another great feature of Media Encoder is the ability to publish directly to various social channels like YouTube, Vimeo, Behance, and Facebook. If you go over to the Publish tab, you can see all your options here, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can find YouTube. Once you check the box and log in, you have all your normal options here. You can add it to a playlist, you can title the video, add a description, you can set the privacy, tags, and even add a custom thumbnail, all from Adobe Media Encoder. Once you've got the settings the way you like, all you have to do is hit OK to go back to the queue. And if you haven't already, you can choose the output destination. And then all that's left to do is hit this little green arrow to start the export. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.